So, so how's the response of the English people been to meeting that bunch of hippies that travel around in a big colorful bus? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Here's one of our drivers. Just, I haven't had such a response. People look, people smile, people react, and there hasn't been too many, too much animosity, just um, a lot of speculation and, oh look, oh look, you know, and then oh wave, oh wave, hello, hello, how are you? Curiosity, a lot of curiosity, a lot of... A lot of curiosity. It's been great. Mm. I, I, I'm really surprised. I am very surprised at the response. Some of it's small. It's a small movement, though, you know. There's yeah. Mountain Girl over there. Oh, there she is. Yeah, no. there right. she is. So if you would try and compare the uh, the change over, because it's been 30 years almost, huh? Yeah. Or, yeah, more or less. Yes. Um, what would be a couple of key words that come to mind if you if you compare the, the, the reactions of the people 30, on, 30 years down the road? Compared to the English people, none. The English people are like the American people were the very first time we were on the road in 1964. Because now that we were on the road here, we get a lot. Our, in the United States, in this time, we get a lot of negative reactions because of you know 
because of the movement before. But this today is like yesterday. Here today is like yesterday there. Do you understand that? Yeah. Uh, we're from Amsterdam doing oh, is that a, right? a short documentary on oh, the uh, excellent. holy sites in mm -hmm. England. As a matter of fact, we're on a holy site here right now. Are we? What is this site? I have no idea, but it's a holy right. site. Look, it's can got tell. the bus. Right, now it is. It's got a castle. And it's got this incredible fountain up here with the most beautiful fountain. And then the this, this story we set to sea in boats and search for the, t the thread of light leading us on or something like that. I mean, it's, just a, it's the most exquisite little poem there. I've, Anyhow. I've read uh, in the internet that you're looking for Merlin. Yes, we are. We're searching for signs of ancient Merlin. And we're also, um, I think at this point, we are the manifestation of Merlin's luck. Really? Well, we haven't How? had a single breakdown. We haven't, had a, we haven't really had a mishap on this whole trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is so unusual in itself that we have to assume that Merlin himself is giving us a, a boost. Uh -huh. Now, I've, I've seen that your uh, tour takes you basically through all the great mystical power places in uh -huh. England. Have you uh, felt or experienced any of that, that great ancient power, mm -hmm. wisdom, whatever? Well, we went to a, a couple of wonderful stone circles. And my feeling about the stone circles was that they were, they, they were so ancient and that they were sort of... Um, imbued with power from so many people over time um, going there and sort of touching there that they could, you could call them touchstones to mm -hmm. the past yeah. and so the the just the juxtaposition of the of the of the far past on the on the modern world here is so different from the states where every almost every aspect of the people that were of the ancient times has been has been wiped away. Yeah, that's um, true. It's really fun for us to look at these things and imagine what what it might have been like here, like this beautiful tower here, mm. which I think is 11th century, and um, that's just an incredible length of time to us. 11th century. That's, right. <laughs> that's a long said, time ago. That's right. Well, there is, but they're they're so old. The the Native American cities and so on. But you have to travel a very long way to see them. They're, mm -hmm. they're far away in the wilderness. Now, how about your experience traveling on the bus in, in the UK? How, how's that been? Uh, cold, wet. <laughs> I said that before. Slow. It's, uh, really, it's been <laughs> But cold, we've been right? really fortunate. We've had no breakdowns, and, and, and we've, been, we've been moderately well received, except by the cab drivers in London who didn't think, really didn't think we should be there at all. Really? So they weren't, they weren't too happy with us. Well, we take up a lot of space, and we don't know where we're going, so... I think that uh, the traffic problems in London are only made worse by having, having lost hippies from America wandering around in great big vehicles attracting attention. So we kind of felt like we were blundering. I was glad to get. I was very glad to get out of London. Really? Mm -hmm. So no really funky shopping at Harrods for you then? No, we never made it to Harrods. We drove by for a minute, but th we didn't stop. We actually did go to um, uh, Camden Locks, and that was fun on a Sunday. So that was some great shopping, uh, very unique, very unique shopping. But we missed out on the shop. It's too expensive. London, this is much it's better here, tedious. much more personable. People have time to talk to you. And I think, I think Wales is a far nicer place than London. That's what I think. All right. <laughs> Ja, on the road. De komende weken meer over Ken Kesey en zijn tocht door Engeland in navolging van de vorige bustocht 30 jaar geleden. Ken Kesey on the bus met René Akker.